dog is some let's look at the not get so for example if i take an input and if i connect with an led you can also try with output output gives us one and zero but uh, led just for the visual explanation when will it turn on and when will it turn off so if it turns red that means that's turned on so here that currently this is zero if it's if the input is zero this is turned off and if the input is one is turned on but when you connect this one with a not gate let's see what happens so you connect this one with the not gate not gate now it's turned on because this one turned on but when it's turned on it's not working but when it's turned off it's working so this not gate acts like an inverter if it's off it's going to turn on if it's on it's going to turn off it do the opposite of what it does okay so that's not gate now let's look at the other gates <clears throat> and uh, here we are going to see and gate in and gate in order for the and gate uh, to make an and gate work <coughs> uh what we have to do is we have to have all of them turned on like all of them should be one otherwise it won't work otherwise the and gate will give the output of zero so let's try that so here i have an gate with uh, like five input you can also change it to two inputs but it's not necessary like even if you have five input and change uh, it's gonna behave like exactly like two input so here uh, if i turned one of them on it uh, is not working but if if i turn both of them it's working so in a in an and gate all of them has to be one if any one of them zero like for example if you have five in five input and uh, if you have four input one and one is zero it's going to turn off it's going to the output is going to be zero because um, for an AND gate to be turned on, all of them has to be on. If the five, if it's five input, five, all the five input has to be one. So that's the thing. And let's look at the OR gate. So this is an OR gate. Now in an OR gate, at least one has to be one. So if one is turned on, that's going to turn on anyway. Um, if another one is turned on, turned on. And if both of them on, it, it turned on, it's going to still turn on. So at least one has to be one in an OR gate. Now let's look at the XOR gate. <coughs> So XOR gate acts similar to OR gate. Like if you turn one of them on, it's going to turn on. And if you uh, turn one of them on, it's going to turn on. But the only difference is if all of them on, it's going to turn off. Like for example, if I uh, put one more input, the like input. Okay, if I on one on, it's turned on you cannot have more than one if you have more than one it's going to turn off that's the difference so if you have one here it's going to turn on if you have one here it's going to turn on if you have one here it's going to turn on but if you have more than one it's going to turn off okay and that's basically x nor gate and other gates are like uh, we have like nad gate nad gate is like hand gate and not attached to it so what's going to happen is it's gonna do the opposite uh, opposite of what I had get does like if you have zero 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 let's try that so in and get when you have one of them zero it's gonna turn all of them off but in a NAND gate it does exact the opposite 
so here both of them turned off but it's turning on and if I turn one of them on it's going to turn on but in an AND gate uh, if you turn both of them on that's going to turn off this is exactly opposite of AND gate and here we have X, uh, NOR gate that does exactly the opposite of OR gate and uh, X NOR gate does the exact opposite of nor, uh, a, or XOR gate X NOR gate does exactly opposite of XOR gate and those are the things about gates and I hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video